Hello, and welcome to the Underhive. Thank you for rejoining me here for some more Hand of Fate 2 action. I think back to the times when I stood at the throne of life and death, played my game and made my peace. I was a force of nature then. Truth flowed through me, unchanged. Now, I am but a mortal. I find the world so full of friction. People are so much more pointed than truth. Nice bit of lore there from our man. And I've got to say, I don't think I've commented on it so far, so it seems weird to be doing it on what will presumably be one of the final few episodes. But, fantastic voice acting. You've got to, you've got to give it to the man. He really does fill the character. So, we don't get a companion here, and we don't get no supplies. So, well, let's have a look. So we don't know what we need. We're fighting, we're fighting Empire. You'll need to find equipment along the way. Okay, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we don't really know anything about what we're up against here. So I'm gonna just take cards that I know that I like. So we'll take the Maiden. We will take, we're gonna start down the easy end. Take Wetlands Ambush. No, uh, yeah, we'll take Waterfall of Youth. We will take. Temple I guess Press. that card is one of your favourites. Task Pass Exotic Lies. Mm. Pauper Dalam is fine. Money Entry could be good. Priest could be good. Hmm. Fallen treasure could be all right. Because we're going to need to get equipment here, so. Mm, yeah, Dwarven Haggler in case it's not very good. Damsel in Distress is fine, or Distressed Damsel rather. Carriage of the Departed, money. Can't have any more platinums. Wish him well, we'll try that. Knight sword, okay, we'll try that. Uh trade blessing, trade equipment. Yeah, we'll take that just to see. We might get a blessing. Take interception. Wine of the gods, we're not gonna do that. I think we'll take the Alchemist. We'll take Ordeal by Iron, we failed that last time. We'll take Pickpocket. We'll take Empire Contracts. We'll take Healer. And Tosh's is pretty easy, we'll take that. So I'm just gonna take swords. I just I like the one-handed swords. I think that's pretty clear at this stage in the series. So we'll take those four. So I mean we've we've done all the shieldage. We'll take those two. But then Yeah, the I think maybe the booklets could be better. Although saying that, none of these do what the booklets do. Okay, we'll take we'll take Valiant Aegis. And that one. Yeah, I like the I like the booklets. So we'll take those. We might as well have an active item, so I'm gonna take a Meteor Strike. Plus one food for every defeated. Yeah, I mean we might need that. We'll take that as well. Seems good. I think that'll do on that front. We'll take the Dead King scales, why not? Champions plate mail. And yeah, why not? Weaver the Protector seems good. We'll take Bounty Hunter Helm. It's pretty good. Gladiator's Visage. Gain one food after any combat where you take less than 15 damage. We'll take that. That'll do good. And then we will take Chef Sean. Gambler's Jewel. 
I could warrant taking more rings there, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with what I've got, and there we go. Do you think this offers a conclusion to your story? Probably not. Seeing there's another Yet challenge. It's already been gone. So we have got a failure state here. Removing a figure. Silver is gem or gold gem. What is needed. Token, rather. I'm just gonna point out that I've already killed General Flint Hollow, but alright. General Flint Hollow has provided you with a secret route into the Emperor's Palace. Unfortunately, it takes you through the city sewers. As you wade through the grime and muck of an entire civilization, the voice of the hermit echoes once more in your mind. You must kill the Emperor, but that will change little. Kill one, and another will take his place. Yet all of this will guide you to the place where you can make a real change. You are coming closer and closer to the moment when things are no longer determined for you. You take comfort in the presence of your companions and call one to your side. We'll have the blacksmith. So there's presumably points at which they're all beneficial, but Ariadna is an absolute tank. Ariadna sloshes through the sewer water to join you. She peers down the tunnel. By the look of those iron bars, this place fills with water on the tide. We might drown if we don't hurry. How exciting. Skip sewers before you run out of moves. Okay, 40 moves until flooding. Okay. Seems like this is going to be there pretty good. There are many good. who ventured down here who never return. At least until the flooding returns them to the surface. Alright, mate. The dark confines of the sewers start disorienting you. Fail and lose like 10 moves. I hope you have learned to be their master. Nope, I've rolled a one, mate. Lose your bearings and completely and utterly. Even your memory of this journey to this point cannot be trusted. So we lose two. Got a tunnel. Fallen treasure. So yeah, we've seen that before. We really do want this. Enter the cave Consider of Consider your actions carefully if you would be worthy. The pendulum is ever changing, and the challenges it presents change too. Nah. I was I was perhaps a tickle late anyway. <laughs> hmm. What an unfortunate oh, sorry, time for your skills desk, to man. leave you. It's all right. We've got time to uh, max HP. What a scumbag! Echo. Can you reach the end of this challenge before you starve to death? Time will Possibly turn. not. The sound of the sewer, re sewer reverberate clearly off the damp stone walls, alerting you to upcoming dangers. So we've got Dwarven Haggler and Ooze. I'm gonna go for Dwarven Haggler. You're wandering leisure to a dwarf, etc, etc. I don't have anything for you, mate, because I'm not giving you this sword. It is dark, unpleasant, and unkind here, to help me. yet so is your quest. Nice. Adriana, Ar Ariadna, I always put the D at the beginning. Ariadna leans against the wall casually. Well, how are we going to shift this lot? As she says this, a wall of rubbish gives way, clearing your path. Deal of reduces the dice gamut target by two. Dig. It's still a hard roll, though. I'm lucky there. Let's try again. Damn it. This is not good. Oh, come on, my young brother. Why, why are you messing me about here? What is wrong with these dice, man? We're going to die in here, Ariadne. I hope you made your peace. I'm going to say, do not do me dirty like this. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. 
The damage taken from starvation is more than the healing delivered by eating. As with many things, we find ourselves sliding further and further into hardship. That was a dead end, so... Locked passage. Ah, uh, come on. Hurry and help me. Yes. Oh no. No, I, oh no, I didn't... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Never mind. Uh, we, uh, we, we, yeah, we're not going to get three sixes, are we? I mean, it's possible, but it's one percent. I got one six. Swap companions. Come on, Mally, you've never let me down. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Nice. That should help. Malaclips hums to himself while examining the wall. A spark of arcane energy leaps from his fingertips to into a support strut, and the debris crashes to the ground. Learn this trick from a coal miner's daughter, he says, waggling his eyebrows. So it's basically the blast the debris away again, Molly, please. Oh, you pig. What? What a scumbag. Perhaps you should have taken your time. It'd be alright, mate, if you didn't interrupt. I was trying to read the message, please. Small puff of green smoke is all that occurs and the debris remains intact. You complain to Malaclipse that his spell lacked combustion. I could clear this tunnel in a snap, he says. But it would likely bring the whole palace down on top of us. Well, yeah. It's probably going to be a viable option soon, mate. We're about to starve and or drown. Clear the debris. I would avoid Listening that. Water. Where are you? Right. Something glimmers in the murky, 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 mucky water of the sewer. With some apprehension, you reach down to pick it up. Ugh. Ah, oh, of course it would be. Fingers close around a piece of broken glass. You cry out in pain and drop it back into the mire. Okay. Locked passage. Okay, well this isn't great. The water is rising. Passive. I would move quickly now. Right, lose seven food, lose one equipment. No, that's a shame. Tunnel. Starvation has been the end of many five adventures. Food. It's 25 gold. It's five food. You have no food. Be careful now. I mean... Yeah, we're down. Poverty and lack of fame can make life miserable. But a lack of food leaves us dead. Perfection is not required, merely a death. I don't know what he meant by that end bit. Perfection is not required, merely a death. But to be dead, all you've got to do is be dead, so that makes sense. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a cheeky one this. So the Emperor of Steel is a, is a card, evidently. Come to the moment. So we know An we know about this. Must we, we will die. take some blacksmith. Doesn't seem to matter who you take, it's kinda of like you just can exhaust them. Doesn't really matter where I'm gonna cash. At least it's not blocked. Okay, we're gonna go back. Tradition Let's... demands certain things of our game. You understand. A viscous liquid coalesces on the tunnel ceiling overhead. Ariadna's warning shout arrives too late. Ah, you pig. 
slime drops onto me and dissolves part of my facial features. Echoes. A careful ear reveals so much that even the things. most observant eye can miss. Okay, trip. Beware the rising tides, for here All they bear nothing cards but look ill. The same. Seems a little bit lazy. I mean, I know you've made what's probably a large level of sewers, but you know, you, you could have made them a few more cards. I mean, that one looks slightly different, I suppose, but it's it's it looks. I mean, there's ooze dripping from the ceiling, so it looks very similar. You trip over some refuse in the sewers and try not to look at it too closely. While you regain your footing, the water continues to rise around you. I've already lost. I've already got no food, have I? Listening water, let's try. Looks like a success. You find a small cache of coins half buried in sewer muck. Must be a lucky day. I mean, it might be if I can buy food. Okay, three for fifteen. Bit tight there, Mrs. But we'll, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. Passage. We will ask Ariadna to help us. But we'll not ask her to help us with the card gamut. But no idea. No, nope, never mind. Ask her to help us again. Got absolutely no idea. No. Okay, let's just try it. Let's just bring down the number. I mean, it's possible. One in 36. No. Let's try digging again. Well, 1% chance, That is poor. Nine. Games within games within games. One in nine again. Oh my lord. Come on, Ariadne. Give me the skills. Ah, you scumbag. Still need a five on this. Oh, I managed it. Nice one. So I mean, if it if it isn't in and around this area here, like round this corner, we're dead. <laughs> Wish if well. wishes were truly granted, we would not be here, you and I. Is that because you'd have wished it otherwise, cheeky man? You found an ornate wishing well in the centre of town. Shiny coins gleam below the surface of the water. A sign nearby warns, be careful what you wish for. We'll throw some coins into the well. I'll throw all ten gold. Ah, oh, tickle too early. Yep, they don't give a stuff about us, the gods. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just, we're just going to go big on it. Go big or go home. Thirty-six. Ah, oh, we got halfway there. Still one in thirty-six. No. Still very unlikely at this stage. Whose idea was it to go in through the sewers at all? I'll tell you now, they need ringing out, whoever it was. 
Bloody hell, man. What, what are you using to dig this wall? Your feet? Bloody hell, man. What are these rolls at? Nice one, finally. I mean, we're dead. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. We're drowned. We don't even get to see what it was. It could have been the exit. But the sewagey water fills up our lungs. Okay. As far as it goes, depending on how long this mission is, I might end up making it a two-part. I will include these failures, because, you know, we're just getting to grips with the level. And I'm going to be more patient with it this time. Obviously, I'm going to get a bit miffed at rolling a five on three dice, but I'm not going to get stressy about not doing it first time. Make your choices carefully here. Yeah. Who will help at each stage? Who will drive home the final blow? Ariadna, in all accounts. Some stairs. More sparings. 12 is a much easier target. To We've nailed it. I hope you have learned to be their master. Oh, I have, mate. I've been mastering them all. Fallen treasure, very nice. Uh, Gamma's jewel, that, that will come in handy. Very, very handy indeed. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realise it could connect there and then I just reacted. Poorly like done. You must harness your will and yeah. find the quiet stillness. Ten. Oh, just that. Okay. You probably better just trying to fail that rather than risking a double fail. Okay. So it, it kind of it kind of only wants to be just past me, from what I gather. But I am gonna be pressing it now. And we nailed it. Very good. We dodged the ooze. And we're looking tasty. Passage. I'm gonna try and roll it. Beautiful, beautiful. Who said I can't? Who said I can't at all? Because I'm saying I can. We are starving now, though. Sewer lurkers. Okay, we'll fight the blight. Is it? I think it's kind of timed to match. Nailed it though. Just. That will set you in good stead from here. And I would say so. You nimbly dodge the lunging attack of the corrupted minion. And then me and Ariadna get to go in and do some absolute stomping. I've not got my axe, but I've got a juicy ring. And the knives are fine here against these. Obviously, I prefer the sword and shield, but... Go on then, Harry. Get in there. Absolutely melted him. What the hell was that? Should have been special instead of me uh, finisher. She won him. Uh, I'll let her kill steal me then if she must. Nice work, nice work. Whoever these poor souls were before the blight, they're still clinging to the vestiges of their former life. Marksman's Bane, I'll we'll take it. 20 gold. 20, 25 life. No food. So we will just check out the campfire. We will trade. We'll buy food. Three first. And then a further one. I mean, who's following us down here to trade with us is my question. Ah, another block passage. Well, we're going to go dice. 
Very nice to get Gamble's Banquet on this here. Of course, we're going to need at least two sixes here, really. Well, at least, at least one and a five. And another five. Same goes. Okay, that's, that's, that's closer. So we can do this with a five here. I think that's worth just rolling the one. 33% chance, and not on a one. You are never going to be doing anything on a one. Oh, brill. Brilliant. That's quality stuff right there, my friends. That is trashed here. That is absolutely trashed here. Okay, beautiful. We're in. We're in. We've managed it. We're clean. 27 moves left. We're looking good. So it's stairs. Nothing but a dead end. Beautiful. What passage? Just gonna go for the dice. It's not good enough. Fours across the board aren't really, anyway. Okay, well, we've got a five, but. The other two were not good enough. Thought for a moment that might have been good enough, but we'll, we'll just re-roll this. Need a six, I think. Oh no, we need four or five. Yeah, nice one. Beautiful stuff. Gambler's Jewel is a beautiful thing on this mission. Echoes. Okay, so we've got sewer stairs there. A balance of resources is key. Ah, beautiful. No one wants to perish wealthy, but starving. You find a hatch marked with a bronze sun that signifies the way out of the sewers. Open the hatch. Okay, nice one. Are we still in the sewers now, or are we past so, that? Okay. reach out of the sewers and into the prisons, ascending one step at a time from the filth of the world with our eyes on the glory beyond. I mean, if you like, I'm just here to kill uh, an emperor. You emerge from the sewers into the cells of the, pris of the palace prison. The land's most reviled enemies rot here. The emperor, unwilling or perhaps unable to end their misery with execution. You survey your surroundings. The courtyard to the emperor's chambers are just through that door. To leave the prison, you'll need the jailer's key. Northerners, it offers meteor, meteor Strike. I can't purchase it. They always want 20 gold. I've never got 20 gold. Put back on top. Good stuff. Healer. Buy food. What you got? I can buy two food. That'll do me. For now. In the grand scheme of things, it saves me 30 health over the next two steps. So, it's probably worth it. I cannot say uh, that sword? I'm unhappy the revolution is beginning to sink its teeth into the Empire. A gathering of hooded villagers <laughs> outside an abandoned village inside the prison, apparently, uh, piques your curiosity. You decide to follow them into the building. An impassioned, an impassioned man. I, I didn't know that was a word. An impassioned man takes the pulpit, raising a fine sword overhead. This blade is used to knight the squires of the Empire. It's a symbol of an old kingdom, a dying one. Sword glimmers enticingly in the afternoon light. You feel a strong compulsion to steal it, but wait for darkness. After the meeting, only a few men remain behind to stand guard. You smash a stained glass window and make your way inside. Seems a bit tight, that, doesn't it? We'll go for it. As you take this open the altar, Empire Guard emerges behind you. Exquisite blade. A perfect showpiece. Barely usable in combat. Hand over the sword, thief! Well, no. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it for cash. Get me some dinner, my friend. I'm a regular Robin Hood up in here. You're keeping this finery around and I need a sandwich. And I think we know whose need is greater. 
shame there's no marksman here. I'd love a cheeky marksman. Come on, Ariadne, now. Crush him. Stabbing. I'm hoping we can just fight the jailer and he's basically an ogre. I, I feel like he'll either be an ogre or a knight. I don't think he'll be his own thing. I'll be impressed if he is. But given he's only in this particular mission, I'm guessing he's an ogre. The Empire will most certainly be searching for this. Empire count is on the map. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I'm not returning the sword, I'll tell you that much. So much death here. Prison rape. It leaves behind so much that is tainted and unclean. A sudden drop in temperature stops you in your path. You glance over at Ar Ariadne, and your breath turns to fog. We're in the presence of a shade, your companion whispers. Such vibrant souls. This is a voice in the dark. I will feast on your essence for years. Uh, if I'm honest, mate, I, I've seen your kind before, and in my experience, you're all mouth and no trousers. So if you want to come and, you know, have a little pop at the Pexley Challenge, then you can, uh, you can have a go, but I just don't think you and the boys are up for it. And I'm sorry to shut you down in your prime here, but that's just the way this goes. I mean, Ariadne's an absolute tank man. She's gonna wreck you. I mean, are they coming back indefinitely? Are you raising these clowns or do they stay there? Because unlike most of the enemies, all you've got going for you is the old TP. You haven't got no uh, shield, you haven't got no armor, you haven't even got any real attacks. And you just think, you know, you can flail those big old arms around and give me a slap or something, that'd do some work. But instead, mate, you're swinging them now when it's far too late and Ariadne's just creamed you, mate. Why has the jailer got a pitchfork as well? Search the shade's previous victims for anything of value. One equipment. Okay. Meet your strike. The heavens themselves destroy your enemies before you. Summon a meteor swarm. That lands for nine seconds when activated. Causes 20 damage per hit. Okay. Okay, we did get five food. Okay, that's beautiful. Yes. Not the keys to the kingdom. It's a jailer. Perhaps. It's a one of toil. Oh right, so he is a prisoner. He is a he is a peasant. Okay, that's interesting. The jailer looks genuinely surprised to see you in his prison. What in the emperor's name are you doing down here? I've given him a farmer's voice for that reason. Not that all farmers that sound that way, but just saying. Persuade the jailer to hand over his keys. You attempt to persuade the jailer to hand over his keys without bloodshed. We're not going to double down. Nah. It would seem that uh, it would seem that I am outmatched. There are two of you, says the jailer. I am on my own, lonesome, with no help from my guards. Guards, guards. Mate, they're not going to help you. They ain't going to do anything for you, man. Did you see what I just did to that wraith next door? I mean, that that was an undead minion of the dark realms or whatever. These are just, you know, dudes. You know, they go home, see the wife, have a bevy of an evening. They're all a bit slapdash. To guard the worst Imperial prisoners is a job for the toughest of souls. I mean, his, his eyes are are glowing. Oh, right, I did get slumped there. That was not, not a good plan. I mean, well, there goes your army, Sonny Jim. I mean, 
this is working out all well for you, isn't it? Go on, get him in the corner, mate. We'll give him the old tag team. I know you're locked up, but I can release you if need be. Well, that's worked out phenomenally for him. And he's rolling off. Yep, he's back into the sewers. Fortunately, he's already dead. He doesn't have to worry about drying in poo. Take the large ring from the jailer's corpse. You can now open locked doors. The maiden. Uh, I think we ask for supplies, don't we? It makes perfect sense. Five, seven. Okay, I was hoping for a ten, but did not mean to go that way. Poor dilemma. Yeah, I mean, we're going to fight these guys. We're going to fight them. We'll refuse to kill the paupers. We, we get food and stuff from this, so... Could be important moving forward. I mean, on one hand, like, the next floor might be the final floor, but on the other, it, I don't think it's going to be. It's one of those, could be like a twist of fate, like, you don't ever get to the palace. Like, he just comes out and it's like, you know what, I've had enough here. So we need to get her to give him the old bashing. Oh, I didn't parry. I was teeing up a bash. I did press it, man. I pressed it way in time. I seen him making the run for the through ball. Admittedly, I could have parried that one, but I didn't. What? Dodge, please. Come on, Harry, I'm next. Oh. I don't want to get beat to death. As much as I want to help the paupers, I'm not doing it at the cost of my own life. Fearful of your wrath, the rest of the soldiers ret retreat. They give us some stuff. Lovely food. Lovely food. Good stuff. I think we're covered for food now. Lock door. Stairs. Stairs out of the prison lead to the palace courtyard. We could, of course, have looked around a bit more, but it doesn't make sense to Here do we so. Are at it the might very be. edge of Maybe the seat does. of power. At least the seat of power for this oh so mortal realm. The palace courtyard stretches out in front of you. Okay. Malaclips leans in close to you. If this suicide mission has any hope of succeeding, we're going to need something of the Emperor's private collection. Estrella interrupts. It is a sword, an ancient relic from before the land was won. My sources tell me it's here. What's wrong with the one we've got? Ariadna says, motioning to her weapon. There ain't nothing in this land can withstand my hammer. Colbion nods solemnly. The Emperor's evil warps and protects him. We kind of hope to stab the devil in his heart with a butter knife. Adrian says, Don't these relics sound like the ones we rescued for the Imperials? Yes, so, oh, so now, now I need, now I need those relics back. Okay. And, and I hope I don't get the curses, but I'm almost certain I'm going to. Estrella appears around the corner. This place is teeming with guards. We can't risk open fighting in this part of the palace. We'd be surrounded before we got anywhere near the Emperor. If we sneak up on patrolling guards, we can take them out without a, th without a fight. But we must avoid being discovered. Catch a guard sleeping and slip past unnoticed. So we have to like sneak up on the back of them. Turin's plate, we get a curse. Lose equipment whenever you gain a curse. Oh great. Does this count as sneaking up on him? Catch a guy sleeping. Okay, very good. So basically you never want to walk on the square next to them because then they can walk on you. But if you walk, okay, Toshas. Okay, we've read this before. I don't, um, yeah, we're just gonna just gonna get what we get. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Okay. 
manage the deal. So gold. Good Not luck best. taking this tank. Yeah, we're going to ignore that for now. Ghost helm. The effect of all pain cards are applied twice on the next map, then this card. Can approach him sleeping. Now I'm going to turn back and get this white guy while I can. It's a bit chessy in a way. Carriage of the Departed. Okay, that's good. I mean, the ring, the ring is basically giving us four extra gold here regardless uh, we are gonna re-roll that we want we want a good a good haul here okay get the same that's fine and another one games within games within games this That'll lead you down to the archives and whispers. After the blade was stolen, they moved it down here. Such overconfidence, Malaclip says, searching for the sword. So many fiendish ways they could have hidden it. Yet it sits here among dusty scripts and moth-eaten relics. It's almost as if they didn't even expect a five-person suicide mission to break into the sewers, attempt an assassination on the Emperor himself. Oh, that was supposed to be Malaclip's. Uh, sorry, that was supposed to be uh, uh, one of the others, not Malaclips. This is a fine blade, Colby on mutters, drawing the sword from a creek. Magnus Cursed Blade. One, uh, one random enemy every combat inflicts double damage. Okay. Gonna get on that there relic. Uh, now this is unfortunate because he could turn and walk towards me. Oh, he hasn't. Okay, but that's still a bit awkward, really. That's better because now he'll now he'll move either away or towards. Oh, that's not great either. I think he's gonna come towards me. Yeah, he is. Yeah, guards. We must return to the entrance of the courtyard. Okay, that's not ideal. I think it's one of these. Oh, nice one. Okay, well, that's kind of okay. Crossing here is actually a little difficult here. I can't seem to get out of the rhythm now. have to cross up here. Yeah, I think I have to go that way. Okay, managed it. Uh, yeah, we'll tell them fighting Northerners. Winner's Bane, okay, nice one. Off to purchase. He looks dubious at you for a moment before accepting the gold and handing over the item. If anyone asks, you were never here. He says, then quickly hands the gold out of sight. 
I don't think we're going to equip that, but anyway, okay, that wasn't sufficient. So we'll uh, get Dracturing. Every individual enemy inflicts 2% damage the first time they hit anyone in combat. Okay, well we're through. I'm and guessing so the one of the things required the Emperor was to him. take all four relics. So we'll go to the next level. What surprises Okay, so we are nearly at the end of this then. Okay, this isn't actually as long a mission as I thought it was. Or thought it could be, given how long some of the others have been. With all your might, you force the oversized metal doors apart. Air hisses in the, into the room as you crack the stubborn seal. The chamber that awaits is vast, its outer reaches lost in cold and gloom. You remind yourself that not long ago you stood in this room as the Emperor's agent, or the, as the Empire's agent. Now you intend its execution. Malaclip strides forward purposely, exclaiming, Is this it? I was expecting a welcome party of a hundred armed guards. I've been working on a spell that would have blown them into a thousand pieces. Or a thousand frogs. Who can remember? Corbjorn kneels and examines the ground, swiping his finger along the dusty floor. This is no throne room. This is a tomb. Estrella strides into the room. It's no time to make amends. She says. You catch Ariadne admiring the metalwork on the doors. Sorry, she says, shifting her hammer from hand to hand. Once a blacksmith, always a blacksmith. From the darkness, you hear a throat cleared with calculated intent, and the group snaps to attention. You enter the chamber in search of the noise's source. It has been so long since I last entertained guests, the voice of the Emperor, as the cadence of a closing coffin. I feel obliged to tell you, many assassins have attempted what you are undertaking, and as my presence attests, none have prevailed. My body may lack the vigour of youth, but that matters little. My guards will dispense with the lot of you. Your guards are nowhere to be seen, Estrella shouts. In the pitch black you hear a ruffling, and the Emperor strains to look for his royal guards. press on into the chamber and spy the Emperor perched atop his throne, his frail body clad in armour spoiled with faded majesty. While entertaining, your hubris has become tiresome. The geniality has left the Emperor's voice. His pale face rests lopsided on his shoulders, as if he lacks the strength to lift it. I am Emperor, Alec, fourth of my line and sovereign protector of the realm. Among Corsa's company, I am Alec the Bloody, Scalebreaker, and Mage Scourge. After all that, you believe you could kill me? A petty mercenary leading a broken mage, a disavowed barbarian, a treacherous officer, and a blacksmith? The Emperor scoffs. A death. Final blow. A death that sets in motion every moment to come. A death that leads you inevitably here. The Emperor's throne sits atop a massive marble dais. Your target waits patiently five steps away. Malaclips climbs the first step and the rest of the party follows suit. Of course, your excellency will have protected oneself from mortal threats such as blades. Colbion flings one of his blades at the Emperor. Sharp and keening, it slices through the air and bounces off his armour with a sizzle that suggests magical protection. Malaclips climbs up the next step, and from gunfire. Estrella raises her pistol and fires at the Emperor's heart. He flinches, but remains unharmed. And of course, the petty tricks of a mage, such as I. Malaclips takes a third step and unleashes a volley of magic missiles. The sorceress bolts fizzle and dissipate against the Emperor, who heaves a deep, tired sigh. Enough of your nuisance. Malaclips raises a finger to interrupt, stepping ever closer. Of course, 
any blade powerful enough to wound you. Oh, sorry. Of course, any blade powerful enough to wound you, you would have found and locked away, hidden and safe. In fact, you'd have kept it right here in the palace, would you not? To ensure no one could ever study it or understand its true power. If it were ever stolen by thieves, you'd have hired armies of mercenaries to scour the land and return for its return, surely. The party reaches the top of the stairs and approaches the throne. Ariadna draws the sacred sword and the Emperor's eyes grow wide with fear. The old man searches desperately for an escape as you and your four companions gather around him. Malaclips presses the tip of the sword to the Emperor's heart. For the people you hunted like an animal. Colbjorn joins, the hand, uh, joins his hand on the blade. For the farmlands torn apart. Estrella grasps the pommel of the blade. For the good of the people you corrupted. And Ariadna's large fist encompasses the blade's grip. For the devastation you rained on the helpless. As one, you thrust the blade into the Emperor's heart. The extra relics you gathered have increased the blade's power, gaining two bonus dice. So I need 50. I mean, they're not bad rolls there. I mean, you're never gonna get you're never gonna get 50 on five dice. Continue. Okay, it's reduced. Take five life damage. Okay, that's fine. Oh, so you'd have to do this with uh, with one dice, is it? Or maybe two dice. 21. We've got him next time. Put your teeth and purple sparks fly from the sword's tip as you pierce the Emperor's protection. Done, done a little bit of damage to me with the sparks, but we've, uh, we've managed this. If we get a one on all dice, that's still fine. Nailed it. Well done. You continue to impress. I've been told that before. Sparks flies, the blade pierces the Emperor's magical barrier and plunges into his chest. A burst of white light temporarily blinds you. A horrible screaming echoes around the throne room, and then it's all over. The white light fades. Is that it? We don't even fight him! The noise and pyrotechnics have alerted the guards to your presence. They grasp the sight of the Emperor's limp corpse, the sword buried deep in his sunken chest. Four knights, all right, okay. The Emperor! A knight shouts behind him. Toll the bell! They have killed the Emperor! Well, I mean... Adria uh, Ariadna's gonna be tolling on you in a minute, mate. So are, are, are all of them in this fight with me together then? Are they all are they all teaming up? Or is it just me and one of them? Because four knights is quite a bit of firepower here. I've got to say, that armour doesn't look very protective with that sword that stuck through him. The Emperor, that is. Oh no, we have got them all. We're just gonna get everybody's special going. There we go. More specials are full. I pressed parry there, bro. Don't you do me dirty like this. I'm just gonna break the armor off these clowns. Oh, right, okay, well, my shield came up after. I'm gonna break the armor, and then everybody else can get in and just deal damage. No, oh, no, 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 don't, don't die here. Oh, I was already locked in. Give me a shield, Mal, give me a shield, give me a shield. Come on, man. Where's the shield at? Come on, Paul Bjornington, you're a good lad. Come on, Cole. Oh, Colin. You've got a shield for me now, Mal, surely. Come on, get them guns out, missus. Can you get that hammer out? Nice one. Don't worry, I'll polish him off. Don't worry about that. Oh, it was coming straight at me, was it? All right, my special's no longer charged. 
dodge, dodge. He's down. Yes, final blow. Good stuff. I've got to say, fellas, not many warriors are as good with two blades as they are with one. You'd have probably been better with either one larger sword or that sword and a shield. With the Emperor dead, you expected to feel triumphant, yet now you feel nothing but dread. You see the same realisation dawning on your companions' faces. Nothing will change. The voice of the Hermit rings forth once more. These cards were played before your arrival. Your fate determined well in advance. Yet soon, you will reach the place beyond even my kin. Find the dealer, learn his game, and you may yet change the course of this land. Now, run, fly, you fools. Couldn't resist. Got to shut that in. So have we got both tokens there? So the Emperor lies dead, but what now changes? Brilliant blades the King's Crown. The game is still afoot, Soul and time ticks on unceasing. And town corruption. As well as... The Knight's Hell. Ooh, very good. Perhaps we'll try that next time. And that leaves us with... So your story winds to a close. The serpent meets his own tail, and oh, right, we will more come face to face with the usurper. <laughs> right, okay. Are so you there's, prepared? there's actually a lot more challenges than I thought there was. Not. So we're not even really near the end, are we? Like, there's at least another two. You um, are in the process of becoming... Judgment. Imperial you came pursuit. to me believing Wanted. you were at Last the end Empire. of your journey, okay. but you were merely beginning. Here, yeah. we will form you into the weapon you must become. So yeah, I mean, on, on one hand, I mean, we'll see how they go, but I'm not sure if this is going to take away from the pacing, because that, like, that did feel like that was about to be the climax, and then maybe we'd have a little standoff against uh, the, the dealer, but actually there's, there's another two. So, I mean, I don't know how many, um, like, tarot cards there are. Like, my knowledge from Isaac, like, means I, I know of... Because all of these are in Isaac, aren't they? Fool is... Uh, fool's back to the beginning. Magician's home in tears. High Priestess is uh, Horror Babylon. Empress is the mom's foot. Emperor's fight the boss. Hierophant's two spirit hearts. Lovers is two hearts. Chariot's the horn. Strength is HP and damage. Hermit is the secret room. Wheel is a like gambling machine. Justice is. Is Justice the little dudes? No, Justice is like a bit of every item, isn't it? Hanged man is flight. Death is damage. Temperance is. Is that like a HP vendor thing? Like a deal damage to yourself one? Something like that? I know it isn't this game, by the way, but I just, I'm just trying to work out whether this is all of them then. Devil is, is Book of Belial. Tower is Bombs. Star is Secret Room. Sorry, is uh, Item Room. Moon is... Oh, sorry, Hermit's the Shot. Moon is the Secret Room. Sun is HP and Reveal the Map. Judgment is... Judgment is like one of the gambling dudes, like the money bomb or the bomb bomb or the key bomb or the health bomb. And then the world is... Is that just a map? I don't know. But yeah, that, that's got to be all of them, surely. Like, I can't think of any more cards from Isaac that aren't there. Obviously, the runes are a bit different. Um, but yeah, so that, that must be it. There must only be two levels left. So, yeah. Well, I know I said earlier on in this episode, probably one of the last. It probably still is, but there's at least another two. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in the Underhive.